Good morning, Excellencies, distinguished speakers, guests of honor, and conference participants, especially Honorable Miss Brown, who will be delivering the keynote shortly, and His Excellency Uo Jin Yud, who will be giving the Union Day message of February 11. To all of you, warm greetings. It is an honor and a pleasure to welcome you to the second Spring Flowers International Conference on Myanmar from February 8 to 12, 2023, concluding with a celebration of the 76th Union Day of Myanmar. Last week marked two years after the military coup d'etat in Myanmar that took place on February 1st, 2021. Since that day, the coup leaders have oppressed and suppressed the people of Myanmar, imprisoning, bombing, and killing thousands of innocent people who they see as a threat to their power. The economy has collapsed. Social services, including education and healthcare, have stopped. And the country is unquestionably experiencing unprecedented violence, reaching the state of civil war. This cannot continue. The people must succeed in reclaiming their freedom and their human rights. This means that the coup must be undone, but we also must be willing and prepared to defeat all forms of dictatorship and justice at all levels. Anyone who violates the rights of the people anytime, anywhere, in any manner must be held accountable. Without accountability, there is no better future for Myanmar. Though it is broad and among suffering, the coup offers the opportunity to bring about fundamental change and realize the shared vision of a federal democratic union of Myanmar. The good news is that we do in fact have such a common vision. We also have a common understanding that the people of Myanmar must decide their own fate and destiny. For that to be possible, we must have unity while also recognizing the complexities of the political crisis that Myanmar has been facing for over half century and protecting ethnic and religious diversities and their rights. We must be united in our vision for new Myanmar. The principles we uphold, the policies we espouse, and the coordinated strategy priorities we act upon. People need to exercise power at local level as well as higher level institutions need to work together effectively accordance with the standards set forth under the international law. And the international community needs to redouble the assistance to support this effort. To contribute this effort, I would like to highlight four key components of the strategy to return the country to a path to democracy and ultimately help us achieve a federal democratic union of Myanmar. First, systematic fundamental structural reform through redesigning and adopting a new federal constitution and state constitutions, building on the federal democracy charter must be implemented. 
Second, a new professional army or federal army must be built. It must be placed firmly under civilian oversight, must reflect the ethnic diversity of the country, must be constitutionally, practically unable to stage a future coup. In particular, there should be an immediate aim of building up forces with the strength of one million soldiers and providing necessary training and tools for them to be able to effectively defend the people and become professional people's army. Third, to meet the needs of the people and provide the basis for democratic governance, functioning institutions will need to be further strengthened and the delivery of public goods and services, including humanitarian assistance must be expedited and effectuated. And finally, coordinated efforts must be made towards strengthening and expanding partnership with cooperative relationship with the international community. We are grateful for the support of the international community, especially the leadership of the US in supporting Myanmar and its people. A major notable progress being made with the passing of Burma Act 2022 as part of National Defense Authorization Act fiscal year 2023. Yet even greater engagement by the international community is needed. After an impactful first conference last year, this conference has been designed to bring together stakeholders from diverse backgrounds, including elected representatives of such as leaders from the committee representing Biru Sudo, Biru Sudo, CRPH, officials of the US government and of the national unity government, national unity consultative council, civil society organizations, rights groups, academics, faith leaders, and more to share, discuss, debate, and deliberate how everyone can more effectively be part of the common vision for a new Myanmar. In doing so, the program will include six academy panel presentations, many of which will come with policy action recommendations for stakeholders and decision makers by over 50 scholars and researchers, three expert panels, feature but experts, those who are deeply involved in the Burmese democracy movement, and around table discussions and over 10 keynotes and speeches. We also have musical and cultural performances as we reaffirm our freedom, equality, and self-determination based on the principles enshrined in the Palong Agreement. Through careful design, we have planned the program to maximize participation and dialogue and to achieve the conference objectives, generating innovative ideas that are valuable and constructive in further help you shape the vision and strategic direction of our common struggles for democracy. We further hope that the conference outcomes will make an important contribution as we march forward towards achieving a peaceful, prosperous federal democratic union of Myanmar. I sincerely hope that you will find this event to be enjoyable, productive, and meaningful. I look forward to engaging with you and all participants throughout the conference.
Thank you.